What is up my gang, gang gang, it's your boy Warlords out here again with another Red Dead Redemption 2 online video. We are currently out here outside of Armadillo right next to Twin Rocks, right above the P inside of Springs. Now this is where you want to go if you want to get outside the map. Inside my first video, part one of this, I showed you guys exactly where you guys are going to go to get up by yourself with friends and such and such. I did explain that in my first video so you guys should know that. So let's carry on to the most important part. Getting a friend up here if they don't have a horse that can get up here. So what you're going to do is, again, you came here earlier to get yourself up here. You have your friend down there. He can't get in. You're going to come to this little bush right here. Again, it's just right next to where you came at. So you see these two rocks. That'll be your landmark. Come down here. You see this little tiny bush. You see your friend down there. Make your friend go halfway in the bush or he'll keep sliding down. Because that is the border halfway point right there. And then grab him. Slide your friend up on the mountain. He'll cross the border right about there. Right as he passes that bush right there. He is now outside of America. Cross the border. And now you can move on. So, inside of this video, as I explained in some of my last video, I'm going to be giving you guys a very descriptive map on where you're going to want to go. Once you pass the border, you're going to want to hit this first checkpoint over here, and then you're going to want to move down and down and down and down until you end up somewhere right down here, and that's when you're ready to cross into Mexico. So let's get into this second video where you guys learn how to get into Mexico and actually get to go to Gorma and Cuba. So, I'm going to grab my horse from over here, and we're going to get started. Sometimes your horses, if you're not on them, they glitch out. They'll go off to a random side of the part of this uh, border. A uh, cool thing, I'm going to show you guys something really cool, though, while you guys are out here. The animals do not move out here, so you guys can just sit here and farm and watch this. They don't move. They don't move at all. Anyways, let's continue. So... While you're out here, you might want to take out your lantern. Uh, if you have bad connection, do not take out your lantern. Um, there are a lot of dips inside this first part out here uh, while you're riding. So you can either, if you're brave, you can uh, go fast or you can take it slow if you uh, want to actually make it there without dying. This is going to be a very long video, so... Uh, I'm going to try to brief it by putting the map in the very beginning of this video. Um, and I'm going to put the map at also at the end of the video to show you. This is just to show you guys exactly what you're doing and how to get there. So you see how there's all these dips. You want to watch out for these dips because if you hit them too far, you could die. Uh, your friends, if you come with more than like two of you, if you come with four people, uh, they could die if they're all riding their own horses. It's best to come with four people and, and two for her for, for horse. Um, again, sorry about that. I have a speech impediment. My bad, guys. Um, but you gotta uh, you gotta keep going and watch out for these little cracks in the road. If you do hit them too hard, you uh, end up falling down. And you get to this point right here, you kind of want to speed up. So that way uh, you don't lag out. There's a lot of laggy points out here because the map starts to render right in front of you and your character disappear for a second. Uh, as you can tell, the map just uh, changed, so I don't have a location anymore. What you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to hit here. Try to avoid this area because you can fall back into America really easy over here as you're passing by. So what we do next is we go down. We're going to try to move it just a little bit more farther down there. So we know exactly where we're going. So here we go. Go ahead and leave a comment in the video if this does help you. Uh, I'm trying to be one of the you know non-clickbaity YouTubers. I want a lot of people to be able to go and experience this just in case you know if it is a DLC, yeah that's cool, but if it isn't, we need to take advantage of this now because Rockstar may never put this in the game. Uh, it, it does dumbfound me sometimes that you have all this neat stuff inside the game, but Rockstar doesn't care to uh, let it be shown. At the end of this video, once we actually do arrive inside of Cuba, I will be showing you guys a bunch of really cool stuff out there. 
Um, there are a couple new leaks out there. Uh, I found a few weapons. Uh, I found some stuff that shows that, you know, we're actually going to be able to go into Mexico and travel around. There's trails down there, and these trails are really, really neat. Uh, and now, again, I have friends behind me. I do feel bad for leaving them behind. Uh, but, you know, this is a video. We have to get it done, you know? So, again, you run out of map right here. Where you're going to want to go ahead to go next is down here so you got to make sure you're paying attention to your map all the way through everything you see how the map is kind of glitching here that's the point where you hit it a little faster because your character can lag out here really bad uh, that's where you hit full speed right there as you hit full speed and you keep going because if you uh, don't right there you will end up either falling through the map or you will end up glitching outside of the map second as I get a drink off my drink. Shout out to Mountain Dew. Uh, it's super beautiful out here. It's crazy to think that a lot of players haven't even seen this area yet. This is what you call uh, a really beautiful desert. And as you run out of that point again, you see how you have to keep going straight and you run back into America. What you're going to do next is you're going to click up here. And then you're going to go around that and then you're going to keep going straight. So, as you see this, you're going to keep going straight up here. And by the end of this video, which I'm hoping will be less than 20 minutes, please, God, let this video be less than 20 minutes you will end up inside of Gorm. And if you do, please hit the like and the sub button for me. Let me know in the comments. Uh, we can probably go together, have a fiesta on the beach, hang out with the Cubans. <laughs> you know, it's something fun. You know, this, these games are just about having fun with people. Uh, on this island, if a lot of you guys are just now watching this video for the first time, on this island, you're going to see uh, a lot of different types of animals out here. And it's really neat because these animals are not in America. They're, yeah, there are pigs in America, but you don't see alpine goats in America. You do not see macaws, which are very, very exotic parrots. You do not get exotic meat. There's a lot of things on the island that are kind of saying that this island is kind of meant for online play. Uh, you do go to this island inside of story mode, but you only go there for a mission. There's nothing you can do there. There's no hunting, nothing like that. Um, but now we get there, you can go there and hunt animals. You can go there and kill turtles. It is in story mode way that you can do this, but this is online. This actually gets your character uh, money. This actually gets you payment. Uh, I'm slowing up because I'm waiting on my friends. Um, but this out here, the exotic bird meat, if you go here and use this method, you go there and hunt every single seagull, uh, every single type of rare bird out there, macaws, colored macaws, you will come back to America with about $300. Uh, my method is I leave the pelts, I leave the birds. There's no way to get back to America with the pelts of the birds. So what you do is uh, you just press start, you go to a new session, you spawn back in America. If you don't have your map, all you have to do is close the app and go back on to Red Dead Redemption 2, go back into a new lobby, you have your map, and you'll still have your food. Currently, we're about to hit something that we like to call boot mountains out here. I call them boot mountains because they tend to lag people out over here on these mountains. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over this way a little bit. Watch how I do this. And come to the cactus fields. Because this is the easiest way to show you guys. I don't want to go over the mountains and confuse anybody or make anybody get lost or make anybody fall and kill themselves while they're out here doing this. 
So what you're gonna do is uh, continue through these cactuses over here. You're going to exactly head down down here. You'll run into these mountains about right here. About right here on the map, you run into these mountains. Now, the scariest part about these mountains is when you do get here, when you do get here, you come to a two-way road. If you go to the left over here, you die. So never go to the left. I'm showing you because I do not want you to die. I want you to get here and I want you to enjoy the scenery. I want you to enjoy what you give. You came all this way for. <clears throat> So what you do next is you go up over this hill, you come to this point, and if you haven't come to this point, then you probably went the wrong way. So you come to this point, you go down, you come down from the left down here, or you will kill yourself, you go this way. Towards the left, you go down and go straight. You come through this canyon. And again, these are points on the map that no one knows about, so you have to really watch where you're going. So when you do come through this canyon, you're going to, uh, you're going to notice that uh, up here, there is another two-way path. You do not go left, or you will freeze and die. You see this path? You do not go left. You go up. You go up. You stop, so you don't hurt yourself. And then you go down. This leads you to the ocean that you cross, or well, lake, or lake bed, or sea, or whatever you want to call it. You can come over here and actually uh, farm fish with your fishing pole, or throw fish for experience, throw dynamite at fish for experiment, experience. Um, again, sorry about my uh, speech impediment. But now what you're going to do is you're going to cross the lake. So if you ever have anybody on the back of your horse, they're going to get off and they're going to cross the lake by swimming. So all you have to do from here on out is cross. And while you're crossing, you'll, uh, you'll, roll out of, you, you'll want not to... Uh, try to boost your horse's stamina as best as you can because the more that you do that the more that you make your horse weaker and the less likely he is to survive this trip when you also come over here you definitely want to have a bunch of horse stamina horse reviver horse medication and carrots you cannot give them any of it while they're in the water the only thing you can do while you're in the water with them is you get uh, food for yourself. Wow, it's amazing that uh, that they've had this in the game. That this is something that is just out in the back of the game. Hopefully, they can uh, add this in and make it a DLC, and, or when they release the full game, since it is in beta, maybe this is the full game. There's a bunch of. Uh, there's a bunch of uh, little leaks on Gormo and in Mexico that I'm going to be showing you guys once we get there. If you guys have never seen a skybox before, that is what a skybox is. It's what generates all the game's data, the game's graphics, the game's uh, weather system. It controls a lot of the game. So once you get to this point, what you're going to want to do from here is you're going to want to mark this location right here. 
and that would teach you how to get around this mountain. But I'm going to teach you how to get around this mountain. So all I need now is my friends to get their horses, get organized, feed their horses, and uh, and then we'll continue on from there. This is a very dangerous trip. You can die very easily. Once you get across that lake, you are technically in Mexico. That is America. Now you're in Mexico. And this is happening online. The proof of that, we are in free roam. These are other players. You know? This is my, uh... This is my weapons wheel. Those are my cards. So what you want to do once you get across there is you do not go right. You go left. And you hit this spot very hard. You have to make sure your horse has stamina. You come up very hard. You kind of cut to the left. Over here. And then you go to the right. Over here. You go up this and you hit left very hard. And once you hit that left, you're up. Some people can't do it. And if these two don't survive, it's unfortunate. But uh, the video must, must go on. <laughs> Let's see if they can hit it. And they hit it. Look at that. You just have to hit it at the exact way that I showed you guys. The exact angle. Uh, when you get up here, you want to be very careful because it's very dangerous up here. Let's take a second for you guys to see where we're at. Wow, beautiful, isn't it? We are completely outside of the map right now. So what you want to do next is you want to continue going and following the pathway that I have shown on the map so far. At the end of following these pathways, I will be adding markers so that way you guys can see and be able to understand where you're exactly going while you're out here. So you're going to want to follow this, uh, this little trail. And now once you hit that checkpoint that you set earlier, you're going to want to add another checkpoint. That checkpoint is going to be for one second. The map's kind of glitching out, guys. That checkpoint's going to be under St. Denis River. But we have to keep going straight a little bit until we are able to actually access that part of the map. So now let's see. We should be able to access that. Now we are. So just keep going straight past that little line. So what you're going to probably want to do from there is just kind of go, you know, right there. But where you're actually headed is right here about right here so make sure you're noticing you know try to line this right here up with that line down there and then you follow that line and, but you don't follow the exact line you kind of have to go around it which means just go on this mountain if you pay attention to the video just continue going on this mountain and around you do have to be careful because again this is a mountain you don't want to die you don't want to fall down you don't want to be sliding down Eventually, you're going to be able to uh, come down this way. Oops. And you just keep following as much as you can without falling into Mexico. Because we are technically in Mexico. You just do not want to fall down into it. for dips out here you sort of can follow the first line I guess uh, it's not telling me not to go any particular ways out here but you never want to be too careful while you're out here because there's a lot of things that you can fall into so once you do follow that line over here you'll start noticing there's a lot of edges it's because we're on the opposite side of the mountain that we had to get over when we first crossed that lake So you're just going to keep going straight, keep following the hills, just 
just be careful because you don't want to go too far up. Uh, when you feel uncomfortable, you can just come back down away like this and then just keep working your way towards that line. Once you've reached that line, you'll be right under that spot I showed you earlier. Again, I'll show you once we reach that line to show you exactly what spot I'm talking about. Definitely always want to be stocked up on horse stamina and uh, horse food while you're out here to help your horse out. to be very careful while you're out here uh, if you see straight ahead we are actually entering Mexico right now out here on Red Dead Redemption 2 online you can see my posse right there my username it says we're in Gap Ridge Gap Tooth Ridge New Austin but we're really not that's all the way across uh, straight ahead from here are palm trees something that not a lot of people inside this game get to see Now that we passed that objective point right there, we're going to want to go ahead and move right here. But let me go ahead and show you guys exactly what we've been doing out here. So you already know how to get in. You're going to want to go from here, pass by right here, go down here. But you make sure you do it from up here. Go. Make sure you go down there, but you have to get over the mountain over here. The mountain that we crossed after the river was over here. If you cross inside of this blue area, you will freeze and die. So that's why you have to travel down here. And you have to go through those canyons that I explained earlier. And then come out right there and swim across. Once you swim across... You find that spot that we went up earlier, that sweet spot, and you go up right there, and you follow that. This is just a recap. And let me show you the next recap right here. So, now that we're under this, you mark this spot right there. Make sure you follow these things one by one, or you will not make it there perfectly. You will mess up, and you'll be sad, and you'll have to restart. And then the final, final one is up here about right here and that is the one that would teleport you into Gorma let us continue now you see the palm trees up here these palm trees are a good sign showing you that you've made it um, definitely shows you that you've made it out here uh, as you can tell my friends are falling behind so we're not gonna wait for them anymore we're just gonna keep going they uh, they'll see the map locations but all you got to do pretty much is follow that route you do not on this one right here you do not want to just follow it straight in general you kind of have to go around it or you'll end up falling into the map So you're going to keep going around. Again, be very careful out here. You do not want to end up straight into the map. You do not want to end up falling into Mexico. You just want to, you know, kind of see it and enjoy it. We're actually about to pass it soon. So you see how we're on a mountain. There are plenty of cracks everywhere over here. Towards this side, plenty of uh, cliffs and ledges. You do not want to fall on those because as soon as you do, you will not be able to come back from it. Even if you've been this far. So you're going to keep following around. You see how I'm not going straight towards the line? following around it because again if you go straight towards the line then you will fall into Mexico and you will die because Mexico is not developed yet 
Uh, Mexico is still being developed. Um, pretty much, once we get there uh, into Mexico, I'm going to stop. I'm going to give you guys a sightseeing view for a second. A little miniature tour of it. Uh, let you guys see it. This is uh, the best way, way to get to Mexico. Mexico, uh, Guam, Cuba. Again, sorry if I sound a little tired, guys. I've been making videos all day. What you want to do is keep going straight, keep following these lines. And uh, we're actually in Mexico currently. I'm going to stop and show you guys Mexico soon. If you want to go ahead and check out the map and see that we did just pass one of our checkpoints right there. That's one of our markers. We just passed it. And I'm going to lead to our next marker right here. And as you can tell, We've been following every single marker that I've placed on the map soon. This is a distinct map teaching you exactly how to get there. All you have to do is just go marker for marker. Click on one marker and then make your own little checkpoint to the next marker. And uh, this is my last marker before I teleport into Gorom. Now, uh, there you go. Let me show you guys this. This is uh, what they have been developing. Mexico out here. This is what Mexico is going to be looking like when they are done developing it. Uh, I'm going to show you guys a few uh, little leaks that I've noticed out here myself. Uh, first thing is first, if you look down inside of Mexico, there are pathways around where you can uh, ride with your friends, your posse and stuff like that. You have the famous Hispanic and Mexican mountains from Mexico out there. Um, it's really neat, honestly. This is pretty cool, dude. Uh, I hope you guys appreciate this little preview of Mexico right here. This is just Mexico. We are not on Gorham yet. This is just Mexico. Uh, I hope you guys do enjoy this. This is uh, really neat to me. When I first saw this, I thought, you know, this has to go on YouTube. But yeah. Let's continue on with our video. Oh, it seems like my friends are still catching up. But that is what Mexico looks like inside of Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. Uh, again, you know how they say they're going to be releasing the full game. I'm expecting that is what they are working on right now, is releasing that as a part of the full game. People are wondering, well, what's Rockstar going to do? What is Rockstar's plans? I believe that Rockstar's plans are to release the rest of this map, uh, to release more money-making methods, more money-making games, uh, bounties. I know that's something that they've already talked about in their recent newsletters, um, and they're also going to be adding another uh, couple games, I believe. I believe it's going to be something different from just shooting. I believe it's going to be posse on posse games. These are just facts that I've been told on uh, their newsletters and from other YouTubers that I work with. Now, uh, we're on our way to our last checkpoint. We still have to go around a little bit on this mountain. When we get there, I will be uh, showing you guys a little bit more stuff out here. I will be showing you guys uh, the leaked guns inside of Gorham. Uh, that actually lead that may lead to future missions future startup missions uh -oh, uh oh Sorry about that guys We have to actually go around this way I went up a little too high So you're going to go ahead and keep following the path now. Now that the map doesn't uh, have all those cracks and uh, holes anymore that you can fall into, as you can tell, all that was back here 
now that we've went around our objectives all we have to do is continue going straight and then we'll be teleported onto the Mexico Goron map for Cuba Okay, once you have hit this location, you're going to want to keep following your checkpoint because your checkpoint actually leads you exactly to where you're going to teleport at. We're going to go ahead and check our checkpoint one more time to confirm that is exactly where you're going to be teleported at. Yes, that is exactly where we'll be teleported at. So, what we're going to do now as we continue following this area down this way and again this is a map that I 100% designed myself I put the markers on I figured it out myself to uh, how to get to Grom and how to uh, find exactly where we teleport at I will be uploading pictures of this map uh, so in the next 60 seconds we will be teleporting into the Gorom Cuba map uh, now that you see all these trees, things are starting to change out here. And now, once the map starts getting dark, we passed our checkpoint. Now the map is going to start getting a little darker up here. As the map gets a little bit darker, as you can tell, you teleport. And you, as you're in the water, don't get alarmed. Don't get scared. All you have to do from there on out is keep riding onto the land. Once you are once you are on land, go ahead and check your map. Go scroll all the way down and you'll be inside of the Groma map. So what you do from there is you take your waypoint and you mark it all the way down there. And then you take a right and you keep going. This is how to get to Gorma online 2019. With any amount of friends that you want to go with. Um, so if you take six friends, you need to take three horses with you or more. But it's best to take six friends. If you do take six friends, uh, you definitely want to have three experienced drivers for the horses. Uh, you definitely want uh, people that are on the back of the horses when it's time to swim to swim by themselves so that way we don't lose horses. If you lose your horse out here, it does not come back to you. You can't respawn it until you get out there. Uh, so once you're out in this location, again, watch our map. We're going to keep going straight down. And as you go straight down, you're going to want to watch for blur blurry spots out here. You're going to want to watch for not only blurry spots, but uh, places where you can fall in. There's a bunch of places where you can fall in out here. See, that is a blurry spot right there. Uh, you want to keep riding until there's no more map left. Once you see the fact that there's no more map left. Once you see the fact that there's no more map left. You're going to want to go ahead and stop. And then jump in without your horse. Your horse will respawn once you get to the island. We are almost there. Watch out for blurry spots. You can sometimes run them over, but most of the times if you do run them over, you fall through the map. Right here, it does look like a major blurry spot, but it isn't. It's just a different form of desert. What you're going to want to do from here is just keep going straight on your horse. Run full speed. There's not much objective obstacles out of here. And, um, well, we're almost there. You just want to keep riding until there's no more map. There are some really scary dips out here, so I did kind of lie. There are some very weird object uh, obstacles out here. My bad. Again, speech better. <laughs> But uh, you're going to want to keep going. 
to be careful coming through these hills because there are some scary ass uh, little points over here. Like right here, you'll see a couple of them. But I'm going to avoid them because I don't want to die. There's a dip. Those are dips. That's a pretty semi deep dip that you can fall off your horse on. Again, you just want to keep going straight. And eventually the land will flatten out. As so, as you can see up there, the land is flattening out already. Again, be careful going up and down these hills. Don't go too fast. Don't go too slow. See, now it could have been a bad dip right there that I just rode through. But yeah, we are almost there. And once you get there, you can either jump in or you can, you know, sometimes when you just jump in off the bat up here, um, you spawn back in America. So what I think is the best method for this is I take a, I think it's another left. I'll show you up here. I take another left and I ride even closer to Gormo. And uh, then I feel like I'm safe here that way. So at this point, you can just keep going straight until you no longer uh, see the map up here. Up here is uh, is where you're going to want to uh, get ready to drop yourself and your friends in. But I'm going to keep on going down this way just a little bit more. just a little bit more that way I don't you know fuck up or anything <laughs> not for this long video but again if you enjoyed this if this helped you out which I will be putting the map inside of picture form at the end of this video and at the beginning of it if this helped you out please leave a like and a sub for me thank you my gang I appreciate you guys once we get here, I'm going to add some bonus in here. Some bonus little f footage of the island. And uh, here you go. Once you see the waters are like white like that, you are in Cuban waters. And you should spawn on Cuba like so. Look at that. Wow. Look at those birds. These birds are actually expensive, man. Look at that. Oh. Damn. But yeah, once you get back here... You can go ahead and call on your horse. Your horse will spawn. As you can see on my map, my horse is coming. And this is Gorma. This is Cuba. This is the place you want to be. So now I'm going to show you a couple leaf little things on this island that will take no longer than five minutes extra out of this video. Um, this should teach you guys how to get here. Uh, you do want to watch the rest of this video just to know these leaks and just to know what is going to go happening here in the future. There are a lot of cool things out here. If my horse would hurry up, I can get this video done and uh, we can move on. Uh, here's my horse so yeah again once you guys get on the island um, you can call your horse while you're doing all that other stuff uh, you cannot call your horse if it dies out there it does not come back until you either go back to America or you reach this but I would like to show you guys a couple more things in this video really quick uh, some really badass stuff that I thought was neat last time I came here so inside of this area, I believe I found a weapon, or is it the next area? Actually guys, my apologies, it's the next area. Again, you're going to want to watch this video to the very end. Uh, you will have the chance to have my first 100% complete map on how to get here. Um, I would just like to show you guys real quick really quick some really badass stuff so I don't have to make another video on it 
But I'm just gonna show you guys from over here. And this place is just extraordinary. It's just gorgeous. Oh wow, look at that. Wow, it made the sun when it was out. Wow, the thunder out here. come out here make sure you dress warm <laughs> there are uh, sea turtles uh, pigs uh, all types of different rare animals you won't find in America you can find pigs in America but there's macaws and their feathers are worth a lot and so is the exotic bird meat that they do give wow the rain out here is just crazy so I believe this is the area I wanted to show you guys so, let's go check it out. There is one more area I'm going to show you. But this is the most important. So, I came over here the other day thinking, okay, wow, what the hell. First of all, you can come over here. You can pick up all types of potions and foods. Um, you can pick up potions from right here. Some health care. Some more health care. And then... This is what makes me think they might add this area to the game. I don't know. I don't really know at all. But this is a rifle. It's a carbine repeater. And as you get up to it, it says, need it for camp guards. Now, I don't know what that means, really. All I know is why am I online and able to see it? a bunch of food right here, by the way. But why am I online and able to see that? I don't know. Um, I, I highly think that's amazing. I think that's cool. I hope that does have to do with some type of online mission that you have to do in the future. Let me know what you guys think inside of the comments about that, though. That is one of the craziest things I've ever seen. But I want to show you guys one more crazy thing, and then I will let you guys go. Uh, let's go ahead and check out this last thing now that we finally made it here. It is in the city. It will take two more minutes. Uh, and at the end of this video, just like at the beginning, I will upload a map on how to get here and how to, you know, how to use it. You've already learned inside of this video. Oops. Oh, God, I broke his spleen. Okay, but anyways, we're going to go over here. I'm going to show you guys the castle and what's inside of the castle. Normal is super gorgeous. These are the best hunting grounds, which is right here, inside of this area right here. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get up to the castle, which is up here a little bit. And after you get up here, you wanna go, you're going to want to go into the back of this castle with a lantern, of course. And there's a tunnel in the back of it that I just thought was neat that I want to show people on YouTube. This is the last thing I'm showing in this video. This is the fortress right here. Um, I've never been able to break in, but if I do, you bet I'm making a video on it. I know this is a long video, but if you can go ahead and hit that like and that sub on this video, that would be amazing. So you're going to want to go up here into this, into this area right here. This is right behind the fortress. This is this little spot right here. You're going to turn around. see the light coming out of it 
This is what I use to XP kill cops when I'm out here. As you can tell, I'm 104. Then, I come down here. You gotta be very careful when you come in here. You do need a lantern. You can't come in here without light. You have to come in here with light. So you come back down here. You be very careful not to come straight or you will die. You come around, you go down. You gotta believe you take it left, all right. Another left. And just so you guys know how beautiful this place is. But yeah, I just want you guys to know that this is uh, the Karma experience. This is how you get here. This is uh, my very detailed map on how to get here. And at the end of this video, you'll see another detailed map screenshot. Uh, a couple screenshots on this location. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, thank you for that, my guys. Go ahead and hit that like, that sub. And let me know in the comments what you thought. If it helps you, uh, let me know. And I'll definitely uh, help you guys some more if you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Your boy Warlord's out. Peace. Gang, gang.